Here is your latest African News Bulletin. Zambia Zambia won't allow gay practices, says the president. Zambia's president Hakiande Hichilema said that gay practices cannot be condoned because the country is a Christian nation. President Hichilema said that the country can only realign sound democratic values with other countries, in local media reports. Last month, the president denied holding talks on gay rights during his trip to the United Nations General Assembly in the U.S. Some media sources had earlier reported that a planned meeting between the President Hichilema and President Joe Biden had been cancelled following anti-gay remarks made by the Zambian Vice President Mutale Nalumango. Ethiopia Thousands join huge pro-government rally in Ethiopia. Tens of thousands of people took part in mass rallies in the Ethiopian capital Addis Ababa on Sunday to show support for the government in its fight against an alliance of rebel forces threatening to march to the city. Fighting has been going on since November 2020 between the government of Ethiopia and forces in its northern Tigray region. Eritrean soldiers are also fighting in Tigray for the Ethiopian government. All sides have been accused of atrocities. The conflict has displaced more than 2 million people and left 400,000 in Tigray at risk of famine. Many demonstrators expressed frustration with international media outlets accusing them of spreading fake news about the conflict. In a speech to the crowd, the capital's mayor Adanech Adebe castigated the Tigrayan rebels and called on the city's residents to play a heroic role by fighting them. Mali Mali leaders sanctioned over stalled elections. The West African regional bloc ECOWAS has imposed sanctions against Mali's transitional leaders and their families. The sanctions range from travel bans to a freeze of their financial assets. It follows their failure to adhere to the timetable of returning the country to constitutional rule by February next year. ECOWAS says that the Malian authorities had informed them of their inability to meet the transitional deadline of holding elections. The regional grouping had lifted economic sanctions imposed on the country following the coup last year after the military junta promised an 18-month transitional process. ECOWAS will be considering further sanctions next month if there's still been no progress towards elections in Mali, it said. Mali has witnessed two coups since last year and is in the grip of a jihadist insurgency. Nigeria Nigeria bans new Marvel movie Eternals for promoting homosexuality. According to reports from Nigerian media outlets, Marvel's latest movie themed Eternals has been banned by the Nigerian National Film and Video Censors Board NFVCB, from cinemas around the country. The reports equally indicated that the board issued out circulars to major cinemas directing them to exclude the said movie which was supposed to debut on the 5th of November from their list. The board has not provided details for the ban. However, it is believed that the movie was banned due to the promotion of homosexuality which is against Nigerian laws and societal family values. Africa wide. Elias Malema says the Ethiopia situation only needs an African solution. What's happening in Ethiopia is really unacceptable. We hope that they, they cease fire and we find a, a, an immediate African solution uh, to that problem. We are happy with the attitude of uh, President Kenyatta, uh, who speaks very forthrightly and openly about the happenings in uh, uh, Ethiopia. And uh, we think that press statements from AU are not enough. There should be, you know, some form of physical immediate intervention. And uh, uh, we can begin to experience long lasting peace in the continent because people know that if you engage in shenanigans, uh, the continent is likely uh, to come on you. Thanks for watching. Visit our news website weloveafrica.net to stay updated with all the latest African developments and future events. Remember to share, like and leave your comments below.